When every second counts, what happens when the ambulance is nowhere to be found? An incident in Plymouth Township is raising some questions tonight about the response of contracted ambulance services. There are also concerns about how first responders communicate with them. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson reports. 911, where is your emergency? June 1st, 2016. I think my, I think my dad is dead. John Nicely of Plymouth is found unconscious by his young daughter, not breathing and bleeding from the head. She admits to 911 operators he appears gone. You do think he's beyond help? Yes. Okay. But she also admits she's going off site and hasn't checked for vitals. Nonetheless, the ambulance company, which would take nearly half an hour to respond, later said the call was considered a non emergency. Even as first responders rendering first aid repeatedly called for ambulatory help and never classified the call as such. Once again, do we have a location on HVA? They are not on scene. HVA is Huron Valley Ambulance, which is contracted to provide advanced life saving service to nearly half a million people in southeast Michigan, Plymouth included. The 911 call from Maple Street came in at 3.17 p.m. Six minutes later, first responders make that call asking where their ambulance is. At first, they're told it's already there. For Maple Street in Plymouth, we are actually a rival. Not true. They aren't even close. Responders make another call. No one's on scene, so we're wondering where you're at. And no one's on scene. Correct. My fire is saying that you guys aren't on scene, so... Oh, I see the problem. Yeah, they must have tapped the button too many times on their on their CAD, and it, they pressed on scene, and someone saw that. Okay, so where are you? Finally, at 3.41 p.m., 24 minutes after the call came into 911, show HVA arrival, paramedic center, and declare the 63-year-old dead. In this case, local officials stress there was likely nothing anyone could have done to save John nicely. But what if responders found a pulse? Would they still have been waiting for help? Why the communication breakdown? And is contracted ambulance service a risk? Plymouth's police chief says no. We've been using it for well over a decade. His officers were some of the first to arrive at that Maple Street scene. He says responding firefighters, while not advanced paramedics, could have transported nicely in a hurry had they seen the need and tired of waiting. The chief admits two parts of a three-tiered system worked. The third didn't. HVA blames the delay and miscommunication on a missing radio channel in Wayne County, which does not provide for direct communication between first responders and ambulance dispatchers or the ambulance itself, meaning dispatch centers are wasting valuable time calling each other as opposed to first responders getting immediate intel. Plymouth says it's not in place because it's not been a problem until now. In a statement, HVA told us this incident was an example where it didn't work well. And while they emphasize that none of this caused or contributed to the patient's death, they're taking steps to put in place a new radio channel which will allow for direct communication. That includes taking this to the state level. The incident has raised questions in this sprawling suburb about the reliability of contracted ambulance service. Some residents saying one mistake is one too many when lives are at stake. I want them there as quick as possible. But the police chief speaking for the city says HVA's service has historically been reliable and he supported the continued use of contracted ambulances as a way of freeing up local resources. We want to keep our firefighters here. When you have firefighters that are transporting people in ambulances to whichever hospital that might be, you lose those firefighters. But he says getting those ambulances to a scene trouble-free should be the norm. You would want as much as you can get, for sure. Finally, while there's no universal law requiring a response time, experts say the first six minutes of a medical emergency is critical. After 10 minutes, a patient's chances of survival dwindles, meaning every second of response and communication counts. In Plymouth, Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Jonathan. It should be noted, Plymouth aside, not all agencies we surveyed are in support of contracted ambulance services. Also, HVA is hardly the only ambulance service in Metro Detroit. Other companies we talk to admit these mistakes do happen and say questioning them is important for everyone's improvement. Stephen?